What's going on everybody, I'm Chips ProPG here and welcome to The Complex. Now, this is a game where you're basically playing a movie and get to do the choices. If you guys remember Late Shift, it's kind of like that. Wales Interactive presents in association with Brockway Pictures and Fields Park. Alright, so yeah, this is made by the same company that made that Late Shift uh, game, so... It should be really cool. So they film it like an actual movie, and you're just basically in control of the movie. Southeast Asia. Ooh. It's going down. It's going down. Hey, so I've done a full body cleanse on both of them. Okay. Oh god, they go, are they going through an epidemic? Relatable. Mm -hmm. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So another drone. Yeah, they dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman yeah. was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean a, a football? <laughs> Smart ass. Hi. I'm Amy. You're... Pleasure to meet you, Okay, they seem nice enough. So what happens to them? Are you going to hurt me? Lighthearted. Keep it lighthearted. I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Oh god, she froze. She broke. Oh god. Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Oh god. Supply tent now! Oh god. Okay, it's that okay. just took a very it's serious okay. turn. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Oh god. You're alright, you're alright. What's your name? Oh god. Dima. So what the fuck? Here. What the fuck are they dying from? We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us are stand against him. Jesus. Oh. Tell me. Will this chemical ruin my life? Oh my god, they got sprayed with chemicals? Delta. Come on, be positive. Delta. I don't want it. The last Delta. thing they need is for it to be like really dark. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. <laughs> I'm trying. Please breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Oh Look god. Me. I need I need to save my baby. Oh god, you're pregnant? <laughs> oh god. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. Oh shit. Who do we use it on? What are you gonna do? Oh no. Make a decision. She has a baby. Uh. Dima, give me your arm. Dima, please. Oh God! You have to trust me. That was a hard this choice. Will save you and your baby. No, you are with the supreme leader. You want oh to kill boy. my baby? No. Well, now you're both dead, you idiot. Reese, how do I save them? Reese is gone. Reese. Oh god, she's having like a panic attack. Ooh, the complex. What an intro. God damn. Five years later. London. Oh, first, what happened? We stand on the precipice of history. 
I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions Press for the greater good. Press S. Keep Kensington track of how your decisions have affected. Has Press S. Oh, okay. Oh, I, so I can get um, stats and everything. Okay. That's a good tip. ...since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. Mm. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh! oh. Hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Uh... No, engage. Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington. She's dealing with a dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why yep. is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Okay, Jesus. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. Seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax yeah. haven. Tax haven, that's a good one. Good one. Okay, so we're just gonna be flashing back and forth from like the last five years? Oh wait, this is happening now. Oh, the whole city's gonna get it. God damn. Now, the real reason you're here. Is this, ha that's happening now. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Okay. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if <laughs> we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Oh, she is not looking hey. good. Hey. Hey. You okay? Nope. Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> Really? Your magic bullets uh, seem to be doing a wonder on it. What's her. your problem? This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're okay. ready, we can begin regulated human trials. So they haven't started human trials yet. ...chemical attacks all over the world. I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. Whoa. <coughs> this is crazy, dude. It's like a fucking zombie apocalypse. Alright, questions. Or is the news just broken? some serious concerns about this. Likewise, before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Crap. Amy, it really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. Uh, I need to, oh it's my emergency. god. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy Damn it. the wonderful Damn it, I wasn't, I wasn't quick enough to go. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? Jesus. It's already gone viral. 
Damn. That's ridiculous. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Okay. This is getting intense, man. So it's like... This is beyond our remit. So it's this weird nano cell thing that's meant to heal you, but it's doing the complete opposite and destroying like the human body. And we were waiting on your word before moving her. God damn. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash. It's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. No, ambulance. Ambulance has to. I think that's more secure. I want eyes on her. This is a mistake. No. Trust me, I've dealt with this type of madness before. It's not a mistake. I know what I'm doing. Girl, you gotta trust me. This is intense, man. So already we've had to field questions about this uh, this tech that I'm still really 50-50 about. And it's also started like killing people. Or started infecting people. I don't know. And I'm meant to be doing like... I'm guessing I'm meant to be doing like the PR and everything for it. It's gonna be a very interesting game if all I'm doing is having to field like all the PR work for this. I'm a friend in a strange country. I can empathize with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to Fair enough. You can say that again. Hey, this guy. You've gotta be kidding me. It's been a while, Dr. Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk the uh, yeah, hug. <laughs> so, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumor? I need to take this. Was it her? So, yep. Do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Ooh. Well, we consider the hysteria might actually be valid. Feel the tension yeah. between the two. I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. <laughs> Hmm. Come back and let me know your decisions. Okay, thank you. So I'm guessing it's going to get a well, lot more out of hand. I'm yeah, guessing the ambulance is going to crash or something like that. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. I mean, you got to give him a fair hey, shake. Uh, guys, can I just uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Fair enough. Can we go, please? Amy's office. Nat, I need to take five as well. A girl's life hangs in the balance. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I don't know why I chose to go up to her office, but I don't know. Felt right. Just looks like she needs she needs two seconds by herself by the looks of it. Uh hi? Can I help you? Oh you guys there's gonna be someone deliberately like making sure that this virus or whatever it is gets out. God damn. Uh, 
ID card reissued. Ooh, someone's got her ID card. Ooh. Hmm. All right, now it's starting to, now it's starting to spice up a little bit. From your assistant staying in security lab alpha. You should see the other guy. <laughs> oh, dead joke. Nat, is this my tech? Mm. Yes. How? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. Oh, All yeah, of no the pressure. All are inside of her. It, it was the master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Great. That's, uh, that's comforting. No pressure, but everything hangs Ooh. in the balance. Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits? You'll see. All right. Ah, uh, don't, don't do the whole awkward thing, just get it over with. Better change in facilities than in the Congo, eh? Yeah. And Kinder. Fair enough. Oh, the casual conversation. Nah, don't look. Just keep it cool. Keep it cool, man. If she wants to be with him, just gotta keep it cool, man. This game's fascinating so far. I'm I'm intrigued. And from what I've heard, there's actually like 12 endings or something like that on this. Decontamination? Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Whoa. That's a cool shot. Vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical <laughs> barriers. Yeah, you didn't think that they had that uh, figured out as well? Just engage. Don't make it awkward. Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. Ouch. You know, just skydiving i needed a reset Try well, that's fair things. enough learn anything that could help us today hope not <laughs> very dead I, I, interesting like it, that was a very dead conversation like there was no background music there was nothing there it was just awkward I could kill for a cigarette wait did they not just you still smoke no or are they coming back up kicked all my bad habits vacuum condition inactive oh nope they have to go through like two decontaminations to get in there Damn. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. All right, let's do it. <sighs> Feels like we're the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah, Russian. Aren't they? Oh, the Russian dolls that are like inside each other. I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Sexy. Hmm. 
Whoa. Holy shit. It's attacking the bone structure. God damn. I have a sample of a so it's meant to rebuild the bone structure, but it's attacking the bone structure and killing it. Whoa. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. Yep. No, 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 no. Leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, You're gonna no. die without it, dude. It's fucking weird. You're a terrorist. <laughs> You're a terrorist. Did this for Nina. What's Mina? Terrorist organization. Please oh, stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanocells aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. God damn. Answer call. Bioterrorism suspect named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Oh, it's getting out of hand with the PR. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Yep. Her bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one She's go, gonna die. She'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? You have like two minutes, didn't she say? Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. Okay. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I, I can't just... I'll get back to you. End call. God damn. That's not intense at all. What should we do, Doctor? Oh, God. Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Yep. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Wow. That's an intense choice I have to make, dude. Whether someone lives or dies. Well, I mean, either way, she That's might die. Way. But Don't bite me. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. What was it? Coming. And done. Don't go anywhere. Haha, <laughs> funny. Yeah, she's, uh, she really looks in the mood for a joke, dude. Oh god. What's wrong? Something something's wrong. Who delivered this crate? Oh, is it we got this morning? Oh, don't open What's it. It's in the way, it needs to be moved. Just move it. Oh, she's got it. Cool. Don't worry about that. That's what we're here for. Thank you, Dr. North. Oh, don't spill it. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Dr. North? Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's not personal. Whoa. Oh, God. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Whoa, this guy's going fucking crazy! Oh. Jesus Christ! 
Yeah, she's got burns on her, dude. Is she dead? Oh my god. We're gonna save you, okay? Oh shit. She's fucking dead, dude. Oh crap. Is that, a, is that the sound effect from Splinter Cell? I knew there was something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? <laughs> hey, don't discriminate no. against the ponytails. Mm -hmm. You can have a ponytail if you like a ponytail. Oh, is Claire all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Yep. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. All right. Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie oh, God. on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. Yep. And call. Okay. First things first. Oh, God. That's gonna hurt. Okay. I can already Easy. sense it. You're gonna rip that shit out. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Stop doing the same joke, dude. She didn't like it the first time. She ain't gonna like it second. But I need to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of her expensive whiskey. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ah. Slap it. Stink. Slap. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh well. A little bit of sass every now and then. I have to clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. <sighs> no, because that's going to get infected, dude. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? <sighs> oh, God. Here, I'm gonna go see if there's something in the intensive lab. No, Amy, it's fine. Look, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. Oh god. You're gonna get attacked, girl. I should have rinsed it with water. Oh god. I'm gonna get like attacked here. I can already sense it. No, go to race. Hang tight, Claire. I think she's gonna die, dude. Oh, that looks painful. It's just like Yemen. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh God, that's gotta hurt. Oh, you better not turn out to be part of this team. I, if that's the twist, I swear to God. Colin? No. That came from the void. The void? Girl, the void. What's happening in the void? Oh, I don't like this setup. Oh, spooky, scary, something's gonna happen. What the hell is that? That's a good question. Is there any security cameras we can check? On the computer, but I don't know how my assistants did that. Uh, would you mind? Thank you. <sighs> Okay. Right, got it. 
He's a computer dude. What do we got? Oh. Shit on the RA. The cavalry? In masks? With guns? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. Shit, they've deactivated the vacuum. Oh, shit. No prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. God bless our security walls, eh? Yeah, good luck with that. They're coming in. Oh. This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. Yeah, it's an inside job, dude. Has to be. Oh god. They're her dumb cavalry. But they're Kandarian too. I knew you were part of something bigger. Lump us all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips too. The divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. Good god. It's gotten intense. Oh, they found the camera. And now they're fucking with us. Answer call. Jamie, <laughs> what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks yep. to him, Dr. North is dead, and so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, as you know that. Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around here? There are three mass intruders yep. in the void, and they're armed. They deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get yep. this intruder situation. Oh, well, not that I'm not grateful, but why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to accept oh, boy. Blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! Oh, In God. Cloth. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's yeah. responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Leak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know. We'd have to ask him ourselves. What now, Claire? All right. Can you move the dead people? Can you move the dead people? Yeah, that's the biggest concern. Now that she mentions it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think we're going to weave this episode here so we'll come back tomorrow and finish out the rest of this game but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next one Cause I can't help